to another weekly vlog i'm sorry i'm so tired i just got back from my run which is why i'm also very sweaty um wow i'm exhausted but happy um so i've been slowly getting back into running after i got my new shoes i told you guys that whole spiel about my calf my shin splints and the new shoes that i got so this week i started running so i'm i'm running every other day and i'm like trying to like sort of ease myself into it so for example on monday i did like three kilometers today i did just under four and then hopefully on friday i'll do five and sort of ease my way back into it that way but i already do feel oh there we go sorry about that i really do feel some pain in my shin so i hope that doesn't bother me for too long i'm gonna roll it out this morning and then i'm gonna um, maybe in the evening do it again and then also um do like an epsom salt soak just to sort of help with that but now um okay so i'm home um and i did made a quick detour to get some matcha some iced matcha from starbucks and now i am gonna quickly stretch drink some water roll my legs out then i'll get showered and start my day wanna feel a later in the day and I don't know why this looks so dark hmm. okay I don't know why I don't know why this looks so dark but um, it's much later in the day and I actually wanted to come on here and show you guys my brows which I actually finally got to do I went to a place called CC Brows, Brow Bar, and Pinky, the lady that does the brows there, she's amazing. Like she's been my go-to person since I moved here. She's amazing. So I just like had them threaded, and then I tinted them a bit. So I know it looks super dark right now, but obviously that will adjust because today is the first day of of the tint, right? Anyway, so let me tell you about my blender today, you guys. So I had gone into the city and like in the afternoon because i wanted to go drop off something at the office um my laptop wanted to drop off my laptop at the office because it's been giving me issues and i was hoping that our it guy would then come pick it up whenever he's in 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 the city tell me why i get into manhattan and i realize that i'm not carrying the bag that has my laptop in it and it's so hot and there's like like guys there's just no way it's not as simple as saying oh i'm gonna go back and pick it up so i'm like what the hell so i'm there i'm in the city so i get off the train and i kind of just like walk around whatever and then i decide to go get the train back home from another station uh just because i figured it would be less crowded there anyway on my way to that train station i walked past h and m like i hardly ever shop in h and m only because I feel like sometimes their sizing is off for me. I got these tops, just basic like crop top type of thing to wear in the house. I got three of them. I got that stone brown one. I got a pinkish one. And then I got like a white one. Um, I got some shorts. I hope I fit in these because guys, I, I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys struggle with buying shorts as well like i don't think i have the biggest behind my hips are a little you know 
but i really struggle when it comes to shorts like i'll buy bigger shorts than necessary just so that they're not literally up my ass but it's still a struggle so i hope these fit um because i actually um decluttered my closet a few weeks ago and uh, like took out all the shorts that i have and i don't fit in so i have no denim shorts so i hope i fit in these um and then i bought this smock white dress honestly it was five dollars and that's why i bought it um it's kind of cute but it's also i don't know if i'll even wear it or maybe i'll give it away um but it was five dollars and then i bought the this um shirt it's just like a nice white linen shirt and i got it in a in a large i usually wear a small but i did this in a large hold on you guys my mom's calling me hello i'm mm -hmm. so my mom called me <laughs> but she's gonna call me back actually but let me try to get through this um i bought a pair of i don't know i guess these are like it's like jeans denim jeans but they're like this off-white color and i bought them in a size us 8 and i'm always a 6 but in h&m i always find that 6 is too small for me so hopefully those fit otherwise i'll have to take them back and then i bought this linen top which reminds me of like a milkmaid vibe and this was also on sale i got this for ten dollars um and then i got this dress which i think is actually really so pretty like for work and stuff um i got it in a size small i don't think i'll fit in it so i'm probably going to give it to my sister so if she's watching this this is coming for you hopefully soon it was nine dollars guys literally nine dollars and the the starting price was 35 so i think i'll send that to her at home because she'll probably fit in and then this is actually my favorite piece that i bought it's this like yo wait okay it's this like dress um it's just a plain white dress but i think it's so great for the summer like yeah very chill i don't know if you guys have realized by now that sometimes my style is low-key like boho bag lady vibes and i really like i don't know i like baggy smock type dresses and maxi dresses so i really like this dress um i also got i think this is like a a romper like a white romper nothing special i just wanted to get a few things for summer because honestly like when i go out nowadays it's so hard because i just literally feel like i have nothing to wear um and then i bought just like a tank top um for it was ten dollars and then i bought just like a shirt for yom the men's section didn't have much didn't have much going for it so I didn't get him much um so i was quite sad um and also i feel like h and m's men's section is very junior like it's like you're addressing varsity boys most of the time um i feel like the women's section even though it has very junior clothes as well has also a balance like they definitely like work clothes and you know more adult clothes the men's section not so much like i mean we are not all in college our husbands also want to benefit from the sale but anyway um so that that's what i got and yeah i just wanted to show you guys what i bought impromptu my husband will not be happy because i'm i'm the queen of oh no i'm not spending any more money this month i just did but yeah it is what it is at this point in time oh my gosh <laughs> a friend friends of mine, my own friend told me that he had bought stuff and his partner was just like no take it back <laughs> because it was like out of their budget and they're trying to buy a house and stuff so he was like take it back take all of those things back um so i hope you doesn't do that to me um yeah 
I'm so tired. It's so hot. Um, so yeah, um, I am gonna go. Um, I'm gonna wait for my mom to call me back, and then I will probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys. So um, it's Thursday evening, and I'm about to work out, and I wanted to show you guys um, my J Sculpt fitness belt which you guys saw me unbox in last week's vlog um thing is like people some people say you shouldn't work some people say you shouldn't like fully work out in them like it's not healthy and stuff but then on their website they say you should because it doesn't have like boning so it's like not like constricting your ribs and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and just workout in it i feel like it does make the workouts more intense but obviously if i feel like it's too much i'll take it off like i have a mind of my own so i'm quickly going to show you guys how i put it on yom usually helps me um and yeah <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, it's a two-man job, okay? But this is what it looks like on. Very tight, but the aim is for me to lose weight and then it won't fit as tight and to go down a few sizes in this. So I'm going to start my workout and I'll show you guys a little bit of that just so you guys can get a sense of how hard it is to work out in this thing. Thank you, thinking I would wait. You never took the time and now it's too late. I hate to feel ignored. So now I'm gonna end this thing. End this thing now. <laughs> Okay guys, so it is Friday evening and Yom and I are gonna try and mission across the street to order some food or to buy some food for dinner because I felt like today is a good day. I need to have like a really nice meal cooked by someone else. So I'm going to go get a, a short rib pasta from this place across the road. The only thing is that it's raining and I think it's raining quite a lot. Um, so we don't really know if the place is actually open or not because most places since it's only outdoor dining um, Tend to be closed when it rains because obviously they can't see people. So now we're about to mission in the rain So you guys are coming along with us Okay Why don't you want to wait inside? Well, I wasn't going to be able to hold now because I didn't want to fold the umbrella. Okay, so we're waiting outside. Might as well get in our fresh air, I suppose. Mm -hmm. guys um so today is sunday morning and i'm sure you're probably wondering girl why are you still vlogging on sunday morning shouldn't you be editing and i should i should but the thing is that yesterday i honestly didn't do anything and i really wanted to give you guys content um and i knew i was going to be doing something today so i kind of switched it up and i think this vlog will go up tonight as opposed to this afternoon um so please forgive me for that but yeah so it's, it's sunday um we just finished watching church watching church and taking my um shower we're getting ready to go um 
out there's this outdoor market that is launching today near our area and we thought we'd go give it a try um and like maybe have like a good brunch over there or something because we haven't had breakfast yet um so yeah so now i was just um busy getting my praise on getting my worship on doing my makeup well getting my face together i really haven't been doing too much in terms of makeup um one since i have my brows tinted um i really don't have to do much i literally brush them fill in the front just the tiniest bit I don't even conceal underneath them because they are sharp right um, and then I just set them with some brow gel so they don't move um, I spray my face with this um, Milani make it last setting spray which is supposedly a primer a correcting and a setting spray um, it's a three-in-one spray hope it focuses Hold on. this is it um, okay then i'm back again so i usually like set my face with this or prime it with this and i like it because i don't think it really mattifies um your face but i like that it gives me a glow that doesn't look oily so i don't end up looking oily so i do that some concealer powder uh bronzer and maybe i'll do a little bit of highlighter that's it and um of course some lip gloss and my go-to every day like if i just want clear lips is my fenty uh stand up what is it glow fenty glow my gloss bomb that's what it's called and i'm actually almost running out i think this is my second one so this is the second one i'm going through of this so anyway i'm gonna quickly speed through this and just do my makeup <laughs> Guys, so we are about to head out and okay actually maybe I should flip around this is what I'm wearing this is the white linen shirt that I showed you guys that I got from H&M oversized and the shorts as well I mean they kind of fit they're a bit tight imagine I went up one size and they're still tight I'm carrying my little Bali bag and then I'm just wearing some Adidas sneakers um, do you think I should wear a hat? Okay. Should I wear a hat? Is that a yes or no? Is that a yes or a no? It's a no? I'm just scared it's going to be super hot outside. But a hat is always so much extra work also, you know? Yeah. So, okay, I'll, maybe I'll forego the hat and I'll just deal with that as it comes. They have men's kimono. Would you wear one? Yeah. yeah. Is this the men's section? Oh, that's the men's section. Guys, we're at this kimono store. The drive-in theater. Pink and blue, hand painted, silk. So pretty. Oh, look at this red. This one is stunning. I just don't know where I would wear it. Uh, the house? <laughs> I'm not buying a fire ask you no. To wear in the house. There's no way. Anyone 
Huh? One of them. Huh? The fender. I was looking for the oh. fender. See here. Aren't these so nice? <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it up like in the bedroom. Like and set the top. Like we definitely have to get one of these before we go back home. Like green points. Mm. With that. But it's really hot and we're sitting just by literally by the waterfront and we're about to eat some food i got some chicken and you got some lamb and i got a really huge mojito okay <laughs> come through what's it say? can i have this straw please um Yom got a passion fruit lemonade i'm gonna quickly flip my camera just to show you guys what we're looking out on That guys is Manhattan. So nice. Ooh. Why is this thing moving? It's a bush. It's a bush. It's a bush. It's a bush. Okay. No, actually, I think it's just a juice mojito. Yeah, maybe it's virgin. So, the mojito was a virgin mojito, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what a scam, but okay. We move. It's fine. It's fine. I hope this chicken is as good as the one that I always get from that, that place, that Indonesian place. Oh, what do you mean you hope so? Are you having my chicken? No. Oh. Mojito for your sake. Oh, okay. Oh, it's good. It's not the same, but it's good. It's good. Hey guys, so I am back home, or we are back home, but to close up this vlog so I can edit it and put it up for you guys. But, um, ooh. The market was really nice overall like takeaway it was really nice um it's just that it was really hot really really hot and even though they had like seat seating areas they didn't have like shade so the areas weren't shaded so literally the sun was still like coming down on us it was like 30 degrees outside so it was pretty hot um, my iphone overheated so that tells you how hot it was um so yeah so we're back home trying to literally cool down literally cool down and then i'm gonna edit this vlog and put it up for you guys we got such nice shirts um at this one vendor and then we also got um some spices and i bought some was it a ginger peach tea i think and like a tea strainer that's what I got so I'm excited to try the tea out because I'm, I'm hoping I can use it to do an iced tea ginger peach sounds like a good iced tea combo so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this vlog I know it wasn't much of anything I had a very 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 low-key boring week but I appreciate you guys for rocking with me through those times please make sure you subscribe um, please make sure you follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. You made a big mistake thinking I would wait.